Been warned, outsider. What are you hiding? Priest. I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me. There's a war on, and you don't know what I'm talking about. The Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Jarl Igmund can refuse to see me all he wants. The Silverblood family will be heard. We own Sidna Mine, best prison in Skyrim, and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. But does the Jarl listen to us when we want to say? No. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. Ulfric's a hero, not a damn criminal. He used the Thum, shouted those Forsworn from the walls. Then he led a band of Nord warriors in to take the city. Just like Talos himself at the Battle of Old Hrolden, reclaiming the reach from those heathen natives. That's a true Nord hero. A legend. So great that the Divines themselves lifted his soul into the heavens and made him a god. He founded the Empire, and now they've turned their back on him. To appease the elves. <laughs> elves. Do the elves rule Skyrim, or do the Nords? They started the Great War, nearly destroyed the Imperial City. Then the Emperor took the coward's way out and surrendered. Now the elves dictate everything we do, and they don't want us acknowledging a mere human like Talos, as the god he is. Stay out of trouble in my city. Whole Dwarven city underneath the keep. The Shuenzel. Best to clear if you don't want a steam centurion carving you up. The Silverblood family will be hurt. I'm Gorz's assistant. I help her with the forge. May your weapons be sharp, and your prey fresh. The Empire has always been good to the Orcs, but this war of theirs is none of my concern. No, no. 
I'm the Jarl's personal blacksmith, but that doesn't mean I can't sell you a few pieces for a fair price. Depends on what you need. A light armor is good for travel, less to carry. A heavy armor weighs you down, but no true warrior goes without it. If you want some heavy armor, I might have a deal we could work out. I need a dangerous heart. Jarl wants me to cool his new sword in blood. You get me a heart, I get you some armor. Interested? Good hunting. Anything. Served in the Legion with my sister Gorza for over ten years. We've seen every piece you can imagine. Have you met her? She runs the forge near the smelter. Just don't bother talking to her apprentice. Boy has no talent. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Until next time. The Dominion is here, and we're watching you. You have the honor of addressing a member of the Thalmor. Bask in it. As if this craggy wretch of a city could give birth to a superiorly bred Myr such as myself. No, I'm not from Markarth. I was sent here to lead the Thalmor's interests in this corner of Skyrim. It's my mission to root out all Talos worship in this city. We're the ruling body of the Old Mary Dominion, saviors of Myr, victors of the Great War. The Empire exists because we allow it to exist, and I'm here to make sure the Jarl of Markarth remembers that. The Thalmor saved all of elven kind during the Oblivion Crisis. We've been watching over our lands for 200 years. We refounded the Old Mary Dominion, an alliance between us and our Bosma cousins. You might know them from their common name, Wood Elves. We intend to prove the superiority of Myr over man, one century at a time. It's a religious matter. The Thalmor do not recognize Talos as a god. He was only a man and does not deserve a place in our pantheon. The Empire has agreed to accept our beliefs and its citizens have a responsibility to cease their heretical worship. You're awfully inquisitive, aren't you? I like that. Perhaps you'd care to solve a little problem I'm having. Ogman the Scout. He's old, respected, and I know for a fact that he worships Talos in his home. But the Jarl has been hesitant to call for his arrest. I want you to break into his home and find evidence. <coughs> What is it, Imperia? You! Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? Very well. You may approach the Mournful Throne. But watch your words. Keep your eyes open for Forsworn when you're on the roads. Sigmund's uncle, as well as his steward. Oh, yes. Um, uh, thank you. Here you go. Some gold for your assistance and your discretion. I have letters to read. You speak to Igmund, son of Orolfdia, Jarl of Markarth. Are you a cell sword? I don't like your kind. No honor. No loyalty. Unreliable. But I can't turn away a potential ally in these times. Let's see if you're better than a common mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood-soaked camps. Deal with them. We will see. It all started here. This rebellion. When the Empire lost the reach during the Great War, we became desperate. 
We promised a group of Nord militia free worship in exchange for their help retaking the hold. Then the elves found out about it. We were forced to arrest all of them. Ulfric Stormcloak, their leader, used the whole thing as proof that the Empire had abandoned Skyrim. The rebels called it the Markarth Incident. It was the founding day for the Stormcloaks and where this war really started. Yes, I know. We have some advantages if they come here. The city is built into the mountainside, so it's hard to reach into, even from the skies. And everything is made of stone, even the beds. We'll have no trouble from Dragon's Fire here. My guards told me. Poor Margaret. And witnesses report that the attacker was shouting some nonsense about being a false one. I want to make things clear. Markarth has its troubles, but there are no false one in this city. They are only a threat in the hills and along the roads where they live. Everywhere else, we are in control. The White Gold Concordant, our treaty with the Elves after the Great War, forbids free worship of Talos. But that's what we promised Ulfric and his men. It seems foolish looking back, but at the time we were hoping the Elves wouldn't find out. So when they did find out, it was either we arrest Ulfric and the militia, or enter into yet another war with the Aldmeri Dominion. The choice was clear, and now Ulfric threatens the thinly veiled peace we sacrificed so much for. When the Aldmeri Dominion invaded the Imperial City, the Legion all but turned a blind eye to the other provinces. Many of the disgruntled natives of the Reach used the opportunity to depose the Empire and founded what they called an independent kingdom. It was little more than a chaotic uprising, but the Reach was removed from Imperial authority for two years before we reclaimed it. But the leaders of the uprising refused our offers of peace. They fled into the hills and became the Forsworn. I don't know you, and I don't sell what precious property we have to outsiders. But if you're willing to work, and you prove to be reliable, I might deem you worthy to live here. My steward will handle things from there. I want no mercy for those Forsworn. Understand? I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. As his housecarl, Igman's security is my chief concern. <laughs> 